everyone, I'm Sarah of Wretch Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the docked shell stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a beautiful shell stitch design that features these large shells that are uh, interspersed between rows of chain stitches. So it's an easy stitch to work. It's simply made up of sing uh, double crochets, single crochets, and chain stitches. Uh, I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch pattern in a design and uh, you can leave that in the comments below. It is similar on both sides. Today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as some paint box cotton Aran yarn. Links to both you can find in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you will find a direct link to the free written and photo tutorial for the dock leaf uh, shell stitch on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot. You're then going to make a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of eight stitches plus four. So today I'm going to chain a total of 28 chain stitches. There's 10. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to work three double crochet stitches into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, and four and work three double crochets into that fourth chain. The skipped chain three there at the start will count as a double crochet stitch and uh, therefore worked into like a double crochet at the end of each row. Once you have your three double crochets worked, you're going to skip the next three chains and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next three chains and work seven double crochets all into that next stitch. There's five six and seven. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next three and single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next three and work seven double crochet into the next stitch. When you come to your final chain stitch you're going to work four double crochets into that final stitch. At the end of row one, once you've worked your four double crochet stitches, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to work a single crochet stitch into the top of that first stitch. Chain three, and work a double crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Chain three, skip three and single crochet into the top of your next double crochet. Chain three, skip three and double crochet into your next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across where you will end with a single crochet 
into the top of that starting chain 3. And that brings you to the end of your row 2. For row 3 you're going to chain 1 and turn your work. Row 3 you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of that first stitch. Chain 3, skip the next chain 3 space and work a single crochet into the top of that double crochet. Chain 3, skip the chain 3 space, single crochet into the next single crochet stitch, chain 3, skip the next chain 3 space and single crochet into the next double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. For row 4 you're going to chain 1 and turn your work you're now going to single crochet into that first stitch, chain 3, skip the next chain 3 space and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row 4 you're going to chain 1 and turn your work. For row 5 you're going to single crochet into that first stitch, then work 7 double crochets into your next single crochet stitch. So skip that chain 3 space in between. Once you've worked 7 double crochet stitches all into that next stitch, you're going to skip that chain 3 space and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat. Work 7 double crochets into your next stitch, followed by a single crochet into your next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across and then work a final single crochet into that final single crochet stitch. At the end of your row 5, you're going to chain 6, which counts as a double crochet and a chain 3 space, and turn your work. You're then going to skip the next 3 double crochet stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 3 skip the next three double crochet stitches and work one double crochet into your next single crochet stitch. Chain three, skip three, single crochet into the top of your next double crochet stitch, chain three, skip three and double crochet into the next single crochet. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end of your row 6, you can chain 1 and turn your work. We're now going to work some rows of chain stitches and single crochets. So you're going to begin uh, rows 7 and 8 with a single crochet in that first stitch, chain 3, skip the chain 3 space, and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. 
ending with a single crochet into that final stitch or into the chain three I should say I'll work across here so that you can see when you come to that starting chain six you'll chain three count in three one two three from the base and then work your single crochet into that third stitch at the end of the row. At the end of row seven, chain one, turn your work, single crochet into that first stitch, chain three, skip the chain three space, single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row 8, you're going to chain 3, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row 9, you're going to begin by working 3 more double crochet stitches into that first single crochet stitch. Skip the chain three space and single crochet into your next single crochet stitch. Skip the next chain three space and now work seven double crochets into the next single crochet stitch. Skip the next chain three space and work a single crochet into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final single crochet in row nine, you're going to finish off by working four double crochet stitches into that final stitch. And that's it. For the rest of the pattern, and I realize it was a lot, for the rest of the pattern you're simply going to repeat rows 2 through to 9. So at the end of your row 9, chain 1, turn your work, and you're going to work your 3 rows of chain stitches, followed by your shell stitch row, 3 rows of chain stitches, and your next shell stitch row. So you're going to repeat that until your fabric is the desired length, then you can fasten off and weave in your ends. And uh, that's all there is to working the dock shell stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.